Guys, we're going to be wrapping up the part three of this problem, uh, or I guess this drawing. Uh, we're doing 13107, and it's very similar to 13106. The only difference is you have a, a shallower angle, and your theta is given to you as a function of time. So I think they're 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 being tough, but they're not. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so you have the fork rod is used to move the two pound particle around the so pretty much so far everything is the same um, R equals two plus cosine theta so R is the same as before so That's good because then we can just con We can just continue using our derivatives that we've already done from problem 105 All Right, I'm just gonna write those down here minus sine theta theta dot and then our double dot <coughs> is minus cosine theta theta dot squared minus sine theta theta double dot. All right, so I'm just putting those out there just because we've we've kind of already done this um, twice already, so I'm just gonna write them down. Um, if theta so if theta, let's write it down here, if theta equals 0.5 t squared, where t is in seconds, determine the force which the rod exerts. So the rod, the force that the rod exerts on this no, on this particle is going to be normal. Sorry, it's going to be along the line of the theta axis. Okay. And the normal that the particle is going to be uh, the normal that the slot is going to be exerting on the particle is the one that's a little tricky. Okay, so let's jump back in here. So theta dot, that's one time derivative. We should get two. I'm oh, sorry, t. And then theta double dot, it's just one radians per second squared. Okay? And I think you're evaluating at t equals one second. So t equals one second, we have theta dot is one radian per second squared. Up per second, and uh, this should be what point point five point five rads. Okay, and if we convert this to degrees, just so we can kind of get a visual of where the rod is, right? This should give you about twenty eight point six degrees. Okay, so the way I did it in my paper <coughs> is our particle is you know twenty eight degrees. You know, our part, that means our particle, if we look it to the left in the drawing, that's kind of where our particle is, okay? And actually, let's waste the good, the bad colors. Um, let's waste the bad colors on the axes. So, you know, R, the R axis is in this direction. And the theta axis is in this direction. Okay. Um, now, the next step is again. It, remember, guys, if you kind of have a hint of like, oh, I, I kind of know what I want to. I think I know where he's going with this. I think I know how to solve it. Pause the video, work it out, and then unpause it to check your work. All right. Don't don't think. One of the worst mistakes when studying is um, it's like, oh no, that's, that's pretty easy. I understand what it's doing. But it's not until you actually put it down on paper, you work it out yourself without any examples, any books, any uh, nothing. That's when you kind of see where you struggle the most. All right. So don't assume that, oh, this is easy. All right. Just, you know, try it first. And then, okay, you got stuck. Unpause the video. Keep, keep doing it. So this is the R and theta axis. Next step is, okay, where does the tangent live, right? So, you know, let's say this is the tangent line, <coughs> okay? And because the tangent is kind of offset, right? I'm gonna be forced to look for this angle, right? And that's what we're gonna be doing but first, before we even do that, let's get
get the accelerations. So AR is R double dot minus R theta dot squared. Plug in our numbers, we're going to get minus 4.234. Uh, feet per second squared. Actually, let's just box the whole thing. We're going to need this. And then a theta, r theta double dot, plus 2 r dot theta dot, equals 1.919 feet per second squared. All right. Cool. All right, so we got it. We got the, the bare bones of the problem so far. The next step is solving for tan theta, or sorry, tan psi. Okay, so we know that tan psi is r divided by the first derivative of r with respect to theta, which will give us 2 plus cosine theta minus sine theta okay so what I did here is just <clears throat> switch my calculator to uh, degrees and I just plugged in 28.6 that gave me minus 6.01 and doing the inverse tangent of this I ended up with an angle of minus oh no, uh, positive in my, in my notes I wrote 80.56 it might have been negative I don't know I'm trying to like speed up the problems just because since these are a bit longer, one of the videos was like, I don't know, like 25 minutes or something like that. So um, I don't want to bore you guys to death. I do want you guys to get the fundamental stuff down. So, all right, that was my psi. And uh, I guess just round it to 80.6. Okay. And then remember, whenever we do the psi, we typically will get the you know the uh, the complementary angle to 90 degrees so um, psi uh, sorry phi will be 90 minus this and I get 9.4 okay so the angle of 9.4 okay it's the angle between the theta axis and the tangent line 9.4 degrees okay so why is that important because we use that to break down our normal component into the theta axis and the r axis okay now what's next now let's try to find the forces right uh, so let's circle this as well degrees so let's start with let's do the let's draw the forces on these so we know that the rod again we do have a you know we have a kind of a mixture of accelerations it's kind of slowing down um, so but then this one's like maybe it's speeding up I don't know anyways so we know there's going to be a force that I said right in the beginning we know that the rod is pushing on the particle and I call that n theta just a normal force on the particle by the rod and then there is a force perpendicular to the tangent on the particle by the uh, slot probably like my best drawing so far ns okay all right, let's see. This is also on a horizontal path, so you know we, we're not gonna draw the weight or anything like that because it will be crazy if we do. All right, so let's let's see. Uh, we finalized our forces. Let's just do forces along the radial direction. All right, so we have minus. It's going in the negative r direction, cosine 9.4 equals 2, so the mass, 
right? Times acceleration minus 4.234. Uh, All right. So far, I've, I've guessed the direction of the normal forces correctly. So I have my normal force by the slot on the particle is 0 0.267 pounds. Okay, they're not asking for this. All right, they're asking for the force on the by the rod on the particle. So let's do that next. All right. So what are the forces here? We have n theta going in the positive theta direction. Okay, and then remember my NS is made up of two components so if I hope everyone's keeping up with me here just because I you know we this is like big part of statics um, so this is like the S N NS sub R plus this little tiny bit which we call NS sub theta okay which is going in the negative theta direction so it's going to be n theta minus n s sine 9.4 okay equals 2 divided by 32.2 times 1.919 all right isolate let's see what we want to isolate n theta okay so that's the force by the rod on the particle, that's the one that they're asking for, and that's what we want to get. Uh, crunch the numbers. Man, now I'm really just saying that now. Thanks, Michael Scott. Um, and theta equals 0.163 pounds, and we are done with this problem. All right? So, again, if you want to practice the whole Psi, the, the, the angle that the tangent line makes with the radial uh, axis. Look back at the, well, not just at these 105, 106, and 107 problems, but look at, um, at the 1392, just the previous videos from these, and then 1389 I did. Okay, that should give you a good group of problems to just test your knowledge, practice some of this. And then, um, and then conquer your exams. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for your attention. I appreciate. Uh, I always appreciate your comments and questions and concerns. Um, also, your feedback. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you need to. Uh, thanks so much for. Thanks so much for everything, guys. Have a good one. See you in the next video.